Oh, I am so glad you are here. Hello there. Well, on this particular video here that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be digging through some of my videotapes that I made quite a few years ago. And I'm going to show you how I used to make irritating things. Uh, tricks that I used to pull on my cousins years ago, back in the 70s, even the late 60s. Um, the video that I'm going to be putting on here today is a recreation of some of the irritating things that I used to make. And these irritating things are, that I'm going to be showing you are noisemakers. Noisemakers, little things that you, I used to plant in their homes <laughs> uh, when I used to come over and visit. Now we're talking, we're talking about 25 or 30 years ago. Uh, I'm a practical joker back then. I kind of like got out of that now. Anyhow, but um, I used to make uh, little electronic noisemakers that were like dripping faucets and uh, high-pitched squealers that were hard to find because the high frequency seemed to have come from every direction. Used to hide them in lamps and uh, used to hide them in uh, television sets even. Uh, because what I used to do is they'd have a tube type set back then of course and they needed it repaired so when I repaired the set I added this little novelty in there and it would drive them up the wall anyway. So I'm not going to show you all of that of course because I don't have all that on video uh, but I uh, am going to show you some of the little simple little noisemakers that I used to make uh, mainly a, uh, a clicker or like a dripping faucet type of thing uh, and, and so forth that I used to put into a metal uh, band-aid box. I don't even think they come in metal anymore but anyways. What I'm going to attempt to make here is a dripping faucet. It's nothing more than an oscillator circuit which uh, pulsates on and off and the oscillator uh, time constant is governed by the capacitor discharging through the circuit and recharging again. And the larger the capacitor, now we're using small capacity here in this substitution box. We go up to 0.22 uh, microfarads, two tenths of a microfarad. That's a very small capacity. You know, you're talking 2,200 microfarads on this electrolytic here and putting this in the circuit will give you that drip, drip, drip sound. You will hear the difference when I put this in the circuit versus just putting the capacitor of 0.22 or 0 0.1, 0 0.047, whatever it may be, in the circuit. So I think we've covered just about enough here. And I think I'm going to start uh, getting the camera down on the macro here. And I'm going to have you uh, for first hand see what I'm doing uh, building a noisemaker from the ground up. Actually from the bench up. How's that sound? Pay attention. This is your emitter. Looking at it this way, holding the transistor just as I am right now. Emitter, base, and collector. Okay, this is the base right here. All right, transistor. Where we're going to go, we're going to do a straight line. All right. Turn this a little bit here so you can see. That's the base circuit. Now, being that this is a uh, PNP, the arrow's going in, okay? And this is the collector. It represents C. This is the base, which is B, and this is the emitter, okay? That is a PNP type transistor. And we usually run the noisemakers on one and a half volts, but we may run it on three volts to be a little louder. The transistor certainly can take that. This represents the capacitor. And again, uh, I emphasize the capacity will depend on the noise. What I'm going to do is put, these, put this together for you. In the for this is the, what I'm making right now is going to be the dripping faucet. Okay? I'm going to put this thing together with clip leads. Here's the one I've shown you from a distance here. 
This is the 2200 microfarad 16 volt electrolytic. Now we're looking for the, there, okay, here's the negative lead right here. Okay. These are made to go on the circuits like this on a printed circuit board, such as computers and modern day radios and stuff. A capacitor like this, or the one I showed you earlier, 1000 microfarads, these are the ones that are used to generate the, uh, the pulsating tone, the, the dripping faucet and stuff. This is the box that I will be using, okay, to change the type of capacitor, rather than to keep putting it in and taking it out of the circuit, soldering it in and soldering it out. Okay, one other thing here, before we start building the noisemaker. This is my battery eliminator. This is uh, what I've been using lately for building noisemakers. I use batteries, of course, but in order to check a real fast test here, of making noisemakers or whatever I happen to be making. I use it. It's a very simple, cheap uh, battery eliminator. It's not really filtered all that good. But it, it does allow me to read current up to 50 milliampers. Most noisemakers are delivering down under 10 milliampers. The more current the noisemaker draws, the less the batteries are going to last. Okay, they're going to last a very short time. I had to try to keep it down to 2 or 3 mils at the most. 